Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm going to show you my new beanbag setup. Now, you've probably heard me say I've used um, just the normal standard stands. It was called a cowboy stand, but I recently got, and if you've been following me over on Instagram, if you haven't, go follow me, follow me now, and because I show you a lot of behind the scenes of what's going on in my business, so you might want to go and check it out. Um, but a lot of you have asked me, can you show us more of the new beanbag setup? So this video is all about that. Okay, so this new setup is all about my posy. Now, you've probably seen the video a few weeks back about me um, having the posy. The posy is pretty much a mini version of your beanbag. So this is what it looks like. It's just a small bean bag there, and what I've done is that what I, what they've done is is they've created a mini frame which looks exactly like this, and um, I've put it on the floor there, so I work from the floor. And then what I've done is I've just flipped the bean bag over, popped it on two blankets to give it a bit of height. I'm also going to add a non-slip mat there so they don't move a lot. Then I've popped it there, and because I want to cover that gap in the middle. I've just folded some um, small blankets there that I have for the babies, popped it in there and to make it flat. Then what I do is with any setup, you don't um, just do this with this type of setup. So any beanbag setup, I used to do this before, is I always put at least two um, blank base blankets, I call them, on top. So it gives it nice thickness to whatever blanket you're going to use to you know, photograph baby on. So in this case, I'm using this blanket um, and then I'll just put it there and then I use my clamps there um, just to clamp it down so it doesn't move. Now with the base blankets though, so you don't always have to clamp them, just keep them clamped right up the back. There's, um, because the frame comes in like three different frames, as you can see there, one, two, three. Um, I clamp them on all two at the back at the bottom so they don't move with which whatever blanket I put on top. So I can take this off, they'll still be clamped down and I can choose another one and use it as well. So that's what I do there. Um, now I should point out though, under the posy, what I've done is I've put some wedges like pillows there to keep it nice and high on the side where the bottom of the baby goes and a small one underneath this side where the head is going to go in all my poses. So I'm just gonna pull that down there. So that's what I use currently. Now let's just pretend baby's head is over here. I'll pop baby's head here. And then you work exactly the same way as any setup. So I use these um, cloth nappies or face washers and I roll them. And then when I pop them underneath there, all I have to do is grab my two layers, I'll probably grab only the one, and just pop it underneath there. Depending on how I'm posing the baby, obviously to mold the baby into my setting. So we'll just put the baby there, and it works exactly as using a bigger bean bag with a bigger stand. So currently that's what my setup is looking like, and that's what I'm working with. Um, a lot of you ask about specific things like what I use, so I use these posing pillows. I mainly use these um, face washers or cloth nappies as they call them. I bought the really good metal clamps which I highly recommend and you can get these from any hardware store. I always have wipes on hand. I can't live without my baby shusha. Um, and I always have sanitizer on hand. So between every um, pose and that and every change baby needs to be changed or swapped or you know if I need to do anything always sanitize your hands especially in front of your clients um, and that's pretty much what I have for my um, beanbag uh, stand and these are my essentials always nearby and that's pretty much what I'm working with now now a lot of questions have come through when I did that opening of the stand I remember I did a video a lot of people asked me but does it do you have to edit a lot when you take a shot of the baby. Now I'll pop up here on the video and you can see the straight out of the camera shots and then the edited shot. There's literally just a bit 
they need to edit and blur out in the background. It's exactly like any beanbag setup. So hopefully that answers everyone's questions. So you'll see some shots here just to show you of the result this frame and setup can give you and hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, remember wherever you're watching this, leave them below and I'll answer them. I'll see you guys next week.